Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. So glad you've joined me today for my Weigh In Wednesday, the time of the week when I give you an update on my 103 pound weight loss journey. I started this journey December 26, 2018, at the highest weight in my entire life at 248 pounds. Where am I today? Well, I told you last week the scale said 185.4. So I am happy to report today I am 185.0. <laughs> uh, now, you know, give me like a day or two ago, I was 184.8. You know, it just fluctuates. <laughs> but um, yeah, unfortunately this last week I haven't had time for exercise. I had some major back pain. Um, I guess I thought I was Wonder Woman and uh, I did some digging up of some plants and really hurt my back. So it's getting better now, thankfully, but I had to do a lot of resting in between all of life's other craziness around here. And I did want to say thank you so much for those who have said that they are praying for my dad as he is having all these swallowing difficulties. Um, I took him today for his COVID test ahead of Monday's procedure, and that is when they will go in and test his uh, esophagus function. So that's coming up next week. He is able to eat, thankfully, um, and we're just pretty careful about what he does eat, but he's doing as well as can be expected. He's not happy because he's a foodie, you guys. He likes to eat. <laughs> and he's not happy when he can't eat what he wants. So, yeah. So, dealing with that. And then, of course, like I said, the wedding stuff. We are fast approaching my daughter's wedding next month. So, yep. Me, I, we met with the reception coordinator last week. And um, everything is all lined up. They're gonna handle um, just everything beautifully and it's wonderful. It's right on the water. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> we are so excited. The RSVPs are rolling in, you guys. And um, right now we are at a total guest count of 98. And um, we have a few uh, straggler RSVPs to still come in but I estimate we'll probably wind up somewhere around 110, which is perfect. They can accommodate us wonderfully. So, yep, we're super excited. Darling daughter and future son-in-law are very excited, as you can imagine. <laughs> so lots happening around here. Um, you know, it'll be good when our house cannot be the wedding warehouse, but you know, we've got lots of decorations going on. And you guys, this Saturday, is the bridal shower at our house so lots happening around here and thankfully my wonderful daughter-in-law is helping tremendously with uh, the preparations for the bridal shower um, as i have a lot on my plate already <laughs> so uh, yeah my daughter-in-law will come a day early to help me decorate and um, it's going to be wonderful we're gonna have cake you guys <laughs> <laughs> look out <laughs> just a little small piece so I was thinking the other day back to my weight loss journey <clears throat> enough about cake <laughs> right um, I was thinking you know probably some people want to know what I eat and I haven't consistently posted what I eat in a day I have posted some videos on that but here is what I eat if you're wondering <laughs> For breakfast these days, I have my protein smoothie in the morning. Some days I will throw a banana in there and some days not. Um, obviously, it drives up the calorie count if I do add the banana. But that's typically what I have. In addition to my morning coffee, um, trying to cut back to just one cup a day. Some days more successful than others in that regard. But that is breakfast. Lunch usually entails either soup and sometimes goldfish with that or I'll have leftovers from the night before if we have something um, which usually consists of a lean meat rice or potatoes and a vegetable sometimes I'll make a big salad if we don't have leftovers um, and we have all of the ingredients and that is what I eat what do I eat for snacks um, it varies <laughs> because I'm sure like you, sometimes you get bored with certain things, right? 
Um, I try to snack on fruit. I did just buy some nice um, grapes. So I had some of those nice uh, red seedless grapes. Um, yesterday, I also bought some blueberries, which I love. Um, so snacks, I like the Boom Chicka Pop, um, the kettle corn popcorn. So it likes me too. So I really have to limit that. <laughs> Um, so I'll have that. I snack on goldfish. I snack on various crackers, sometimes the Triscuit um, Thin Crisp crackers, although I haven't been buying those lately. Um, it just varies what I, you know, happen to pick up at the store. But I definitely am logging everything on the Lose It app. Uh, tracking is the name of the game. Whether you do Weight Watchers, whether you count calories, whatever you count, um, it all matters. It all adds up. So yeah, I would say tracking is my number one single best piece of advice. So um, now hubby is on board. I mean like really on board <laughs> with, with tracking. So he has downloaded the Lose It app on his phone. And um, so hopefully he will track every meal. Um, he is trying to lower some bad lab numbers um, that were not good. Um, so yeah, he's serious about, um, you know, really being accountable. So that will definitely help me <laughs> because as you know, I have other people in my household that eat whatever, uh, you know, my son he is uh, the king of fast food. So, you know, he eats whatever. <laughs> He's young he's 21 um, and then we of course we have my dad and he eats whatever he can <laughs> and um, and then my husband and I so if I can have a, a weight loss buddy that would be really nice so of course hubby eats what I prepare for meals for dinner um, so that part's good um, so yeah, what we eat for dinners are lean meats, a lot of chicken. Usually once a week we will have red meat. So like I plan to do um, some beef stew. I bought some nice um, stew meat the other day. So I'll do that in the Instant Pot. Um, and sometimes we'll do a burrito bowl. But like I said, red meat once a week usually. We usually like to have fish once a week also to kind of break up the chicken a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll have brown rice and um, just a little bit of potatoes. So not too much in the way of starch, um, but enough, you know, we, we need some carbs. Our body needs that to function. So, and salads and vegetables. So yeah, basically try to limit the sugar sugar you know once i start eating sugar i want more sugar it's so addicting it's ridiculous now i will be having cake this weekend but um hopefully it will go away fast <laughs> i will send it home with people but uh definitely cause to celebrate so that is the scoop on how my week is going um what do i plan to do in the week moving forward well, like last week, I said, I hope to do some exercise. Um, this coming week, I definitely plan to get on the rowing machine once or twice and the treadmill once or twice, that would be great. Um, it's gonna be an extra busy week coming up um, between things with my dad and then he has a follow-up with the urologist about his PSA results, which incidentally, um, I think I mentioned before that his PSA results were not good. Well, he, they retested him when he was in the hospital and they were actually in the normal range. So we will see what the urologist has to say, but all that is promising. So yeah, he's got that appointment also next week after his procedure on Monday. So lots happening around here, but the train rolls on and Amber's not giving up. So hope you guys are not all either. And uh, comment below, let me hear from you. I always love, love, love to hear from you. So press that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you soon. Take care.